Hello and welcome back to Infinity Remote Control. I'm John and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to set up a Hobby King KK2 or KK2.1 board with DJI products or any Opto ESC. Now an Opto ESC means that it doesn't uh, have a BEC output or a power output. So a BEC is basically just like a uh, typically it's like a 5 volt output of 2 to 3 amps. Now some ESCs are now putting out 7.2 volts, 7.4 volts um, for some faster servo applications but for the KK2 boards uh, 5 volts is all that you're really going to need. So the problem that you run into is to power the KK2 board you need to have a BEC going in to your motor 1. So whenever you plug your DJI Motor 1 ESC into the Motor 1 port on the KK2 board and then you plug in your battery to your ESCs, nothing is going to happen. And that's because they're Opto ESCs. DJI makes Opto ESCs. And they don't have a BEC output. So when you see, I'm going to connect my power into Motor 2 and nothing happens. Now I go ahead and put it into motor 1 port and voila, there you have the KK2 board working. So how do I get power into motor 1 but also get my ESC from motor 1 into that port as well? Well, there's something called a servo splitter cable and this is basically going to have your female connector at one end and then you're gonna have two male connectors actually no these are the females this is the male I'm sorry and what that's gonna allow you to do is plug in your ESC and your power BEC UBEC whichever uh, whatever you're gonna be using and then here is a single uh, connection that you're gonna put into your motor one. So I'll show you how you're gonna set this up. I'll unplug this. Now I'm gonna take my single lead and plug it into motor one on the KK2 board. And now you have an option. One of these leads is obviously gonna be used for your ESC. But then you have another um, option. What power um, supply am I going to use to get that power to the board? Well, here I have a typical pack and you can use nickel metal hydrate packs, um, 6 volt packs, um, here I just have a 4 uh, AA pack with the servo output and here I'm going to show you something. All I have to do is just plug this in and there I have power. The Second lead is just going to go straight to my ESC and everything works perfectly. But you have a small quadcopter, you have the 330. You don't want to be hauling around a huge battery pack when you don't need to. Well, this is where the UBEC comes in. Now here I have a Hobby King HKU3 UBEC. The output is 5 volts, 3 amps, that's all that you're going to need. And I do believe that the input can handle up to 5S. Um, I ran it on 3S and as you can see the, the wires are fairly thin so I would not recommend anything over maybe 3 or 4S uh, but it never really got too hot. So here I have an F450 plate and or a F350. What you're going to do is here you have your two um, solder tabs for your positive and negative battery wires. You're going to take the black uh, tab or end wire of your UBC and you're going to solder it directly on top of your negative wire to the battery. You're going to take red and solder it directly to the positive wire of your um, battery input wires and by doing that you're going to also be putting the battery voltage into the UBEC as well as the amps and you're going to be outputting that to, you guessed it, a servo connection. And what I can do is unplug this. 
and say that I have my UBC all soldered up, all I would have to do is plug it in, come on, get in there. All right, and then the KK2 board would have turned on if I had my battery plugged in and everything soldered up correctly. So that's basically the only way I found getting around the KK2 board issue with Opto ESCs. Uh, if you have your own ideas, comment down below, but this is just what I found easiest. Again, you're gonna need a Y harness. I would suggest the UBEC um, or just a battery pack. Hook one up to your ESC, hook the other to your battery pack, uh, or take your board negative UBEC wire to this tab, positive to this tab, and you're good. So it's that simple, guys. It took me a little while to figure out how I'm exactly going to do this, uh, but I do hope that this video helped. If it did, hit the like up button so I know to start making more videos just like this. Talk to you later.